Hello, everybody. He said, let's go. Because three, two, one, let's go. If you could see the face I am making right now. <laughs> if you could see it. Anyways, welcome back to you. Final Fantasy XIV, possibly still a Realm Reborn. I think we're still a it Realm is. Reborn. It is? It is. Yes, it is. Because we're still getting level 50 quests. Well, it's because it was, I believe, the Astral Era, and it's now the Umbral Era. Which is like the first half of the year and the second half of the year. Anyways, we're following around. This is apparently Minfilia's mom. Adoptive. That's why I said mom. Well, unless she's actually a Makoti. <laughs> no, you can do you can do amazing things with surgery these days. Uh, that's not surgery. That's just mutilation. Well, she has normal human ears. That's the surgery part. Anyways, Alpha Nod, what do you got for us? Eh, uh, eh. Uh, bring screen back. There we go. <laughs> that's that's this like is not a lot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know where my hand is. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I can zoom out and see my hand's not anywhere. It's on his uh, ass. <laughs> this, th this is not how I envisioned it. Not at <clears> all. <throat> have you... <laughs> no. Have you appraised... Of, have you been appraised of our situation? Lady Flahamid... Uh, has... Have you been appraised of our situation? Not have you. Having... Oh, having been apprised of our situation, Lady Flahaman has consented to plead our case to Minflea regarding the proposal to move to Mordona. However, uh, she will only do so if her perfume is complete. R really? Uh, okay. Furthermore, she insists that we aid her in uh, obtaining the final ingredients. She will not be swayed, I assure you. I have tried. You are... You are <sighs> Let's looking just get at this him. over with. You are looking at that boy like a yaoi fangirl. I am? Yes, that's what it looks like on my screen. You're just like, uh, you're just like staring at his face. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like, oh my god, not this again. <sighs> Let's just get this over with, shall we? Cooking sherry? An ingredient? Oh, do we have to actually do a thing? I don't know, we'll see. Oh, hello, Guardian's Materia? Oh, Gatherer's Materia, Gatherer's Gage, Gatherer's... Oh, this is gonna make us gather. Uh, believe, uh, believe me when I tell you I'm very eager, uh, every, I'm every bit as eager to return to the Vesper Bay as you. Then let's go. Let, let, let's, let's, let's just go, go to Vesper... Oh, whatever. But there is much, uh, work to be done. However, uh, so listen well. I require a pristine salamander royal to complete my perfume. All of this pure can only be obtained from the belly of the Gorangach, a notoriously elusive species of wavekin native to the Bronze Lake. Elusive, I say. Yet no less uh, uh, sensible to the allure of the right bait. Sensible? Okay. Yeah, sensible. For this inst uh, instance, it would be a freshly slain mud puggles. Puggles? Oh, whatever. Mm. Three placed in the water's edge should be sufficient to tempt the Gorangach lurking nearby. They are aggressive when uh, startled and will attack on sight. Yet, given the ease of which you dispatched the Gobu, I doubt there will be much trouble. This is what I think of this woman. <laughs> what, eat chocobo bars? Pretty much. <laughs> Her head's in the right height for it. <laughs> eat my chocobo! Hey, hey, remember when we ran past here in terror because things, everything here could kill us? Huh? Look, it's Winky. Ooh, that's kinky! Oh, wait, that's not right, is it? Not only is it not right, <laughs> it's not even the <laughs> right line! <laughs> but, you know, it's, no. it's almost right, right? No. Oh, fine. Fine. 
Look at my horse giving it. I <laughs> look at a horse giving it like. <laughs> Whoops. Space, have you been drinking? I only had one pint of, you know, beer. For American viewers, pints are what we real drinkers drink. It's like half a liter. Yeah, it's more than half a liter. Well, it's not much more than half a liter. Half a liter is like a single can of beer. Why you ever watch Lord of the Rings? That's a fight. Why am I even properly fighting them using proper rotations? It's a good habit to be in. Yeah, but I could have just nuked them all from the very start. With flare? Yep. They were just level 38. Flare. Yeah, but you know. Fuck, it's a good habit to be in. <laughs> Sink level 31. Fuck no! I ain't sinking that low! What? Oh, okay. I need water crystals. Pew! That I almost killed them. <laughs> I don't think I got anything. They didn't drop anything. I am disappointed. Yeah, you kind of have to farm crystals a lot more. I don't know where the best way of getting them, or how the best way of getting them is. You're, well, I would say mining, but... Uh... Oh, well, yeah, that <coughs> would be a thing. Yeah. The problem is it's tedious as fuck. It's like one of those things I would do while I'm on call. Oh, wow, I need to kill the salamander. Let's get to it. Well, get to it, I got this. Did that hit you? No, I did the thing. Now we have to go over there and mine wait somewhere. Oh. Do you still have to do the thing? Yeah, I still have to do it. Alright, I'll wait. You, you. you go ahead, I'll catch up. No, 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 I'll wait. Okay. That way we can do it Fake. together. <clears throat> I'm hiding. Yeah, you're very subtle. I am. I'm extraordinarily subtle. Nothing can ever see me coming. I blend into the shadows with the greatest of ease. Holy shit, That's giant good. salamander. Go. And this, this is where I send my firepower! Ah, <sighs> right, so... Whoops. What are you doing? I accidentally hit sort of. Hmm. I was about to try and look for Sword Oath in my Thamater guard. Like, what? where is that ability? <laughs> you don't even use a sword. I know! But at least you got three animal skins, right? Y yay! Th three animal skins. Understand that it is of the most utmost and blah, 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 of the utmost importance as I finish my perfume before I accompany to Vesper Bay. Bring me the oil as soon as you can. There you go. Once again, I am in your tent. You have no idea. I distilled how much. the flowers' oils uh, in your absence, so all that remains is to. There, it is ready. And so am I. It is time we see to my daughter. Finally. Uh. 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 Fine, we'll just go all the way back to the working sands now. That's fine. We've got to kill a thing though, so I'm mildly happy. <laughs> Why did you bring your bird out? Because we have to run. To the waking sands, and I teleport on yeah, my bird. But, yeah, I forgot that you teleported on your bird. That's the part that I forgot. Oh hey, I'm getting a tan. 
You are? Yeah, I am. It's weird. I'm pale. I'm oh, laughing. right. You're mean in real life. Right. <laughs> I could I could give myself my character a tan, but, you know, the colors don't look right. Oh, man, I remember when we were that level. Don't know what you're talking about, Tiber. I am that level. That was really topical and strangely appropriate. What? Like you were the exact level as the guard at that door. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was that exact, but I did know it was pretty close. And god damn it, I keep forgetting that I end up dropping my barrier when I do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've dropped my barrier. Well, or that's... protect. Yeah, that's fine. I'm the one who puts it on you anyways. Yeah. You keep putting my protection on. Yep. Gotta make sure things are safe. <laughs> oh. Da -da. Ascient, you have a guest. La Hammond? Mom? <laughs> Acilia? Hmm. Suspicion. Yeah, it's a bit suspicious. Hug. Vampire! I Uh, I haven't seen her like this in years, sisters. It'd be nice if when we were in a party we were always in the cutscene together. Yeah. With me in the lead. Psst. Psst. I I never truly believed it when they told me that you were dead, but but what kept you away for so long? It's the Imperials game for me, as I always knew they would. So, I resolved to stay away, as far away as I could from you, lest they pursue me and endanger you and our cause. I could think of no better way to grant you freedom to continue our work. And continue it, you did, achieving things I could not have imagined possible. I, will, I followed your every success and celebrated it secret. I'm so proud of you, Asilia. Sounds so dirty. I learn from the best. I have a gift for you. It's some perfume I got those adventurers to do because I was Apparently crazy. Apparently it smells terrible. Silceta perfume? You, you remembered. How could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. If I ever lost sight of you, I could, um, uh, I could find you again just by following my nose. I did. I did not think you made anyone. I did not think it was yeah, made it was anymore. Made. Yeah. yeah, it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. It was no trouble at all, my darling. I fear I cannot say the same for the rest sisters. However, I could not have made it without them. Hello! That's the point where we wave. Thank you, Baranix. I... thank you both. There is something else. It's a bob <laughs> That th This is a cat's eye I found. All these years you kept it? Wait, what? It's she found a cat- It's a gem. Oh, yeah, there are the cat's eye gems. 
For, for a moment I was like, wait, what? A <laughs> random cat eye? <laughs> my father was a member of the Aligan, Ma Alamegan resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Ulda. The incident which claimed his life happened shortly after the, our arrival. It was Lahaman who took care of me and raised me as her own, taught me everything I needed to know to survive. That explains your mm. clothing sense. I am no stranger to the facts of history, yet I fear I have failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I need uh, I do not know about you or your mother both. One of her first lessons was uh, lessons to me concerning mining, and I was very dedicated. I was a very dedicated student. This this cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was exceptionally proud to have found it nonetheless. I suppose we shouldn't tell her just how much iron and steel and stuff. We've 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 mined absolutely nothing ever. So, I gave a uh, to Lahamin as a gift, and she said it was beautiful. But there I am at a loss. Why have you returned to me? This to me. Is something amiss? No, Celia. Nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you have come. How much further you must still... You may still... You must still go. You may still, you must still go. Sorry. You and your allies have accomplished more than I ever could have hoped. You have succeeded where I have failed. And made me proud. That's... That words fail me. But even as I marvel at the woman you have become, and at all, that, uh, all the many things you've done, I cannot help but think of how... Uh, of that... Uh, sorry. I cannot help but think of that which you have yet to do, and of which uh, it may entail. Cecilia, daughter, you cannot stay here any longer. You and the Scions must leave Ulda. The Harmon, I... <clears throat> you built it once, Cecilia. You can build it again. And this time, we'll do it together. Truly? Mm. Nod. A bit too coincidental, all this, personally. <laughs> Alpha Nod, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. <laughs> we shall re-establish a new headquarters in Revenant's Toll, as you proposed. Much work lies ahead of us, and farm our fellow scions to send word to the students of Baldesian. Baldesian. Preparations begin at once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems that's all we needed, just some random cat to be the mother. Yeah, you... you. You are really the mother, right? Shall we go? Yep. <laughs> oh, anyway. Hmm. These, these. I'm just going to take the silver because those are way too high level for me to put put that in anything. Yeah, Let's yeah. be honest. <clears throat> oh, there's kind of a bunch of crap still. And like more. Into it. More, more material. Or, as I put it, another bunch of crap. <laughs> as ever, your enthusiasm is greatly appreciated. Our first step will be to secure the cooperation of the Adventurers Guilds, our guild representatives in uh, Revenant's Toll. Were it not for the Guild's uh, considerable efforts, the original Camp Revenant's Toll the original Camp Revenant oh, okay. Toll would never have been established, much less its uh, more heavily fortified its hev more heavily fortified successor. However, with consideration uh, construction still ongoing, the resources are in short supply. 
It would seem that our guild will require something in return for their support, sympathetic to our cause though they may be. Whatever they ask, I shall not begrudge it. To be plain, we need uh, more than they need. We need them more than we they need us. Uh, without their assistance, such a t essential tasks as securing new facilities, uh, cultivating relationships with local merchants, and recruiting adventurers would prove difficult, if not impossible. You need not concern yourself with such matters, Asient. Ad, 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 antecedent, antecedent. Really, Alphanod? If I need to concern myself with anything, it surely is a matter such as these. Indirectly, perhaps. I submit that we, uh, that you might ascend, uh, con <laughs> ascend, ascend, uh, ascend. What? You might instead. Uh, oh, der! I'm failing at reading because I've read so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dyslexia, it's no a worries. trouble. I submit that you might instead concern yourself with a trouble with a different matter, namely to whom the res uh, restoration of such matters might best be entrusted. And here I am, nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed emissary of the Adventurers Guild at Revenant's Toll. Hello. It is an honor, antecedent. Upon receiving word of your intentions from Master Alphanod, we thought it best to begin talks at the earliest available opportunity. <clears throat> know that my associates at Revenant's Toll hold the scions of the Seventh Dawn in the highest regard. We should be honored to welcome you to your organization. Uh, there are, <clears throat> of course, uh, certain provisions which must needs be negotiated. If it, is, if it pleases you, would you do so? I would do so, even. It does. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh. Madam, unless I am much mistaken, you are the ones known as Sheherazad and Scythia, are you not? May I say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance? I just think it might have been easier to just say Baranic. Yeah, but we have different last names, remember? I'm your boy, well, yes. I'm Boranic. Oh, yeah, Bor, you said it was... Never mind, ignore me. Bor, yes. Slavorn spoke to you in the most glowing terms. Steal an Imperial Reaper and then use it to infiltrate a Galian castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate, and fewer still survive. You shall always be welcome at Revenant's Tour. I hope you will favor us with your presence again ere long. Nod. Nod, jeez! Yep. Well, 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 it would seem your reputation, rep ah, your reputation, rep reputation precedes you, sisters. Mayhap I should uh, dispatch you to Revenant's Toll with all haste, as first intended. But there is something else I would ask of you first, if not as a scion, but as a friend. My, my mother is troubled. I have seen her behave this way before. I know she uh, will dismiss my concerns if I inquire, despite my closeness. As she, she has ever been unwilling to burden me with her problems. It may be that she is uh, will welcome your concern, however. She likes you, sisters. And more importantly, you are not family. Do not bother with subterfuge. She will know I sent you. Simply do what you can to help her. That is all I ask. I am in your debt. So, just answer straight, basically. Or ask straight. Just like, hey, sup, what's up? Hey, sup, what's up? Diver? Hmm? You just went completely silent. I don't know what's happening. I did, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> hmm. I have become an open book. Or has she still... Uh, has she acquired the greater powers of insight? Ooh, I fighting? shall choose to believe the latter. Hmm? 
I said, ooh, was that lightning? Oh. If you must know, one of my earrings is damaged. I am not, uh, want to sigh from such trifles, but they were gifts. Here. You wish to help, yes? Then do what I can. Take them to the goldsmith guild in Urda and see uh. if anyone, anything can be done. Uh. That's fine. I could just repair it myself, you know. This is... Being... Oh my god, this is really... Well, Ugh. go here, go there, go here, go there. Ugh. This is getting Why do you think I'm... Why do you think I'm mildly bored just playing with a spinner? This is... This is getting bad even for me. It's literally <sighs> like we're paralleling the steps we took earlier on in the game. No, it's not. It's worse than that. It's so much worse than that. At least we're killing things on a regular basis. Uh, yeah. Yes, what is it? Earrings, you say? Very well, let me see them. Wait, how did you get there so quick? I teleported. I teleported! I teleported earlier. While you were still talking. Oh, okay. By the twelve, I know this design! Humble cat's eyes polished and set so exquisitely as to make the clearest of diamonds seem dour and dull. Flamens, Arya! And if I'm any judge of quality, crafted by Master... Oh my god. Nella Friends himself! Oh, oh dear me. <laughs> and I thought myself about the element. Look at my hands, they're shaking! I quiet no payment, madam. To be entrusted with this duty is reward enough. And since I must needs devote my full attention to the task at hand, mayhap you could attend to a small matter while I work. Oh, I have an appointment to meet with one of my suppliers, a fellow by the name of Odinel. My got strike in southern Thanalan. It's a prepared a shipment of ores for me, you see. If you could collect it in my stead, I should be most grateful. Ooh, ooh, this smells like a betrayal. Oh. Yes. Yep. Why, well, get us away for long enough or something, you're saying? No, I'm saying we'll get to kill Zamek. Oh, okay. I have not Are you saying that because it's in southern Thanalan? Oh. Yes. Oh, let's hope. <laughs> just, just, uh... uh. <laughs> I mean, story, don't get me wrong. But when the story is just going in circles, and this could be done by any random whack job, then I guess a bit tedious. Like, this is not a massively important job. She doesn't really care too much if they get repaired, honestly. I mean, she's a bit down about it, and she's like, oh, they were gifts, I, I would like them repaired, but, you know, if they don't get repaired, then, oh well, what can I do? So, just give it to one of the random feckin' mooks that are walking around. You know? In our organization, just give it to one of them and tell them to do it. Oh, the place looks a lot less sandy. Yep. Well... Cyber? Oh, okay. You came all this yeah. way. On Member Desu's account. Well, oh, bloody hell, can't deny I'm a bit surprised by that. It's normally a great pain in the arse, you see. Always comes to collect his goods in person, and then spends the gods know how long inspecting them. It takes something serious to stop him. Hey, he's not on his deathbed, is he? No? Strange. Here's his aura, anyway. We're square, right? Give the man my regards. <laughs> I wanted you to read cheerily because I have read the other stuff, because there's so much reading and my eyes are failing horribly. Well, I'll be going to bed after this episode, so it's all good. Okay, it's just because, like, reading makes my eyes go funky. Yes, that's called dyslexia space. I know. Well, it's actually everything, but, you know, the more time that goes on it makes it harder and harder. It's hard to explain, it's weird. It's dyslexia, Wee. that's how it works. Well, you know. Blah. <sighs> anyway. There we go, finally loaded on. You've returned at the perfect time, friend! Ah yes, I have my oars. Have your sack of ore. 
good, good. I shall sort through these later. Now the Arya! Fortunately, only the clasp was damaged. The rest seemed remarkably well maintained. You may be sure that I took every possible precaution in replacing the broken section. No one else took the liberty of polishing the pieces, you can see. No, no, I require no payment. Truth be told, I would happily have paid you for the privilege of let get the give me money. The privilege of laying hands on such a masterpiece to have attended to its restoration may well be the defining achievement of my career thus far. My sincerest thanks. <laughs> wow, just just attending to it would have been the greatest achievement of his life. Not making anything, but just fixing something. That is kind of pathetic. His greatest achievement so far. Yeah, but you know. Sigh. We'll finish off this quest and then leave it there. <laughs> We're at 30 minutes. Uh... 31 minutes of not doing much. Probably been able to, uh, to count what we've killed in one hand. One thing. Was it just one thing? We killed one thing, and then we killed the ant, and then we killed the three fish things. Was the... Well, we killed the gobu, and then we killed the three... F no, wait, the three fish things were on the episode after that. And the salamander. Wasn't that also this episode? I think it may have been. Look, this episode's been so long, it feels like two. <sighs> the last two episodes have been so long, it felt like three. You know? By the way, we have to kill the Syndicate at some point. Um, the fact that they won't let us have an right here is bullshit. Oh, hey, netrix has got another quest for us! No, he's had another quest for ages. <sighs> anyway... Hey, I got your crystals, or earrings. You got, you got, you gonna, like, be happy? Well, did you do as I bid you? Pray, tell me your trip was for, was not for not. Sisters, I th thank you. They sparkle as they did the day Nidil gave them to me. Niel gave them to me. What curse My blade. Niel, who sleeps even now, looking for uh, for all the world as if it cursed. Uh, wait, what? As if that cursed blade had taken his young life mere moments ago. Not years, ye gods. I could uh, almost bear it if he were truly gone. But he yet lingers. Can I, uh, can the soul be at peace when the flesh yet remains? Every day I pray that he can enter a thousand realm. I pray, I pray, and pray. To love is to lose, child. But one cannot but postpone the moment of parting. And so I shall. My daughter will not lose me again. Not for a while yet. God's willing. Tell Acelia I am waiting uh, quite well, Scythia. Ah, uh, sisters. She shall concentrate more on more important things, and so should you. Nods! Man, I wish we had the mark and recall spells. I miss those. Huh? So yeah, we'll leave it there. So until next time, all we the best. Finish the quest. Oh God, fine. We'll. <laughs> what did not read right now? No, it's cool. Whatever. It's been fill ya. I know. You just want to look at the belly. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the dialogue to come up. Qu quite well, you see. We both know she is not. Yet, mayhap, she will be in time. Thank you, sisters. A thousand times, thank you. Oh, God. Hi. 
You're here. Good. Negotiations are concluded. And... Our friends at the Adventure Guild, Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defence and development of Revenant's Toll. In other words, just do what you were doing already, but do it there. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona, the Rising Stones. Yay! Woo! That's kind of crap name! Yay! <laughs> A bitter sweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot yet, I cannot deny that I have come to look forward to Tartarus tales of many guests and their many, many demands. From the waking sands to the rising stones. Possibly poetic. That wasn't your doing, was it? Mm. <laughs> He's not going to say either way. I have two news to share. An exception to... Of this... Ah, uh, ah. An expectation of this uh, monumentous day. I personally informed the Alliance leaders to our plans, and they have each pledged their full support. General Ruban included. Moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of this order's veil of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Are you sure that is wise, antecedent? Antecedent. If anything, it is, mere, it is mere formality. Her existence is quite possibly the, the worst kept secret in Eorzea. <laughs> Let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements. That all might know what the sounds of the seventh dawn stand for. Yeah. Okay. Well, obvious risks apart, it would be nice to receive a little more recognition. And the people have a right to know who saved them. It is my hope that this gesture will find, will encourage people of yours there to take their place in trusting us. To place their trust in us. <laughs> that was a good I would reveal to them the true extent of their power, yes. But in doing so, I would show them the true power as accountable to no one. And, wait, what? That it is a power. It is a power accountable to no one, and one and at once for all. And what of us? We who have felled the primals and faced down the Emperor Empire. To you, my fellow scions, I would say this prepare for the challenges which lie ahead, for they will be great indeed. Nod? Not just there? Okay, just there. Great. I say yet uh, no greater than us. I say yet no greater than Okay. Great I say, great, I yet say. no greater oh, than us. Oh, brother. Yeah. Great I say, yet no greater than us. And we will rise to them as we have from time and time again. United as one. Till all are one. Till all are one. For Til the great, the good. One. For all the great, the good. The great, the good. For the great, the good. For the great, the good. Hmm. There is, uh, there must be some way I can. Wait, that area is said to be rich in minerals. May maybe I should talk to Flahaman and teach, uh, to teach me the basics of mining too. Are you going to come with us? Me or... or me? Then, you know, why doesn't she just come with us? You know. Uh, whatever. We'll leave it there for tonight, folks. I can't be bothered to do this anymore. And as you can see, it's 11.09 p.m. I'm tired, and I have to work all weekend. No, it's not. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. That's the <laughs> worst face. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> anyway. Good night, everybody. And until then, all the best. Oh, wait. No, that's our greeting. Goodbye.